you think, Connor? What's it like? It's pretty epic. It's worth having very damp toes right now. At least it's not raining. This was to be the start of a 50 mile hike in the Rila Mountains, the highest mountain range in Bulgaria. We're gonna stop at a mountain hut just down there called Grandchar. Um, but it's still pretty early in the day, it's not even past 12 yet. So I think we're gonna carry on to a place called Ribbony Nizera. Is that how you say it? Ribbony Nizera. Um, but we might get caught in the rain, Most so we're, we're risking it a little bit. But feels like if we, if we stop walking at 11 ish. It's a lot of the day we um, have to kill, so we're going to push on and um, see if we can walk as far as we can in the dry. Yeah, wish us luck. In terms of the journey, we are maybe Maybe one quarter. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> you enjoying this, Connor? I'm not sure whether this was the best decision um, to carry on walking. We could have been in a, a nice warm mountain hut at the minute. <laughs> Instead, we're getting stung on the back of the legs by hail. And uh, yeah, you can hear the storm there, the, uh, the thunder and lightning. Oh dear. How are you finding, Connor? Doing great. Doing <laughs> there. Yeah. Oh, that thing. We now see the refuge. Um, it's a very welcome sight. Uh, me and Connor are both freezing. Uh, and there's smoke coming out the chimney. So hopefully a nice warm fire would be delightful. Um, it's been a brutal day. Um, I thought after the transcontinental I'd, it'd be easy and I'd have some, a relaxing time. But today has been absolutely brutal. Um, I really struggled. Uh, my knees hurting a little bit. The the shoes that I bit, the shoes that I bought in Burgas, uh, just the the fake Adidas, are not the the best for my knees, and not the not the best hiking shoes. So, um, yeah, it's been very difficult. As I've already said quite a few times, and I'm very cold and been hailing and a thunderstorm. But we're making it. We're gonna get there. Then we can dry off, take off our wet clothes and uh, thaw out a bit. Yeah, really looking forward to getting there. Oh my God. I think this stayed at the last refuge. Waited for five hours and then walked here. Instead of... Oh dear. It's here now.
you ready for today, Connor? So yesterday we were regretting that we decided to walk in the rain. Luckily we were able to dry off last night and today we have decided to do exactly the same. So we're gonna get soaked again. Only for seven hours though, <laughs> only. But then we have <laughs> the end of today, we have Wi-Fi. Yeah, we have a warm shower, promised. Yep. So, and most importantly, there will be sun tomorrow. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, it was like with the ropes attaching things. Times going into that that hut very very well. We missed a fair chunk of rain, and now we're heading back up a mountain, and then down a mountain, and then we'll reach our destination for today, which is another hut, which should have, we've been told, has Wi-Fi and warm showers. So lots of motivation to get there. torn between going down the mountain and staying in the paid accommodation which has wi-fi and a shower and going back up slightly back up to that um hut and staying there for the night um which is a free and a bit more remote and a bit more um rustic stay and a bit more like a bothy i suppose but like back in scotland and um yeah, we're very torn. We, we don't know which to choose because we're, we're low on food, but um, 
I think we'd survive till the morning and have breakfast in the in the place down at the bottom. So we've decided to stay in the hut. We don't get this opportunity very much, so we're gonna stay in the hut for the night. Should be nice. <laughs> What's it like in there? Very cozy. A um, little bit of mouse poop, unfortunately. A few maggots. A couple of maggots. I didn't. Oh, I saw one of the maggots. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be nice. Yeah. I mean, just look at the the scenery, and you know, at least we're avoiding the rain. Yeah, should be good. <laughs> You ready to go, Connor? Ready, yes. Ready how, go. how was that night's sleep? It was good. Yeah, really cozy. Um, we've ticked off a Bulgarian boffy. Uh -huh. And we've got up really early, so we're now ready to go. Get some breakfast, because Josh ate all of my breakfast. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. What are you craving for breakfast? Oh, man, seven days for days. Yeah. That's what I want. Seven days of croissants you get in Europe. Exactly. For anyone oh, who doesn't know. Oh, okay. Good as well. Yeah, let's go. Yep, let's get We've summited some mountains today. It's been nice to walk in the sunshine, which we've had. Uh, we're gonna go and stay in a paid hut tonight. Uh, don't think there's any showers and there's no Wi-Fi, but I think there's good food. And we're in the Seven Lakes area of the Rila Mountains, which are very uh, popular for tourists. I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow. We're gonna look at a map. But yeah, been a, a lovely day.
are walking uh, through the Seven Lakes at like 5.30 in the morning. I think it's just started raining a little bit. Yeah, hope you're gonna go see a nice pretty sunrise. yesterday saying that it's four meters under 2700. Oh, well, it's got bloody high. Today is the last day of the trip and we're hiking towards the Rila Monastery where we're going to finish and then we're going to either hitchhike back to Sofia or get a, a bus. I think the only bus leaves at 3pm um, so we've got plenty of time to get there but it'll be a, a nice finish um, to finish at the monastery. minutes after he said. Do you, do you hear that whistling? Yeah. How does it feel, Connor, to be at the monastery? Hot and sweaty. We've, we've um, got to our destination. Yes, our final destination. Our pilgrimage is complete. 